fight. They want to brawl. They want to have a phenomenal fight. And with the last name, I feel like you have to be a stand-up striker because you want to put on a performance. We look at the tail of the tape. Same age, the height advantage, one inch by Sosa. The weight, a pound advantage by Sosa. We're small guys that actually plays a very small difference, but still a difference nonetheless. The reach advantage, one inch by Sosa. And the record, practically the same when it comes to experience. Yep. But we see the advantage goes to Franklin Moreno, even though he's six and seven. He has so many more fights under his belt, and that experience can play, uh, play a toll in this fight. Very stoic look on the face of Sosa. His only loss coming via split decision. His last fight was a victory at Fighting Force 7 in November of last year, defeating Luis Rodriguez, who was 10 and 2 going into that fight. So you look at Sosa, truly a star on the rise. But can he maintain his grasp? of the Fighting Force flyweight title tonight. Our next contest is scheduled for five, five a minute round in the flyweight division. Introducing first, uh, firing out of the blue corner. A raffle with seven wins and six losses from Venezuela and fighting out of Dominican Republic, the challenger Franklin the Bankers Mireles. And his opponent firing out of the red corner. A striker, a kickboxer, with a professional record of uh, five wins, and well knows uh, the reigning, defended, and fighting force, champion of the world, Miguel Angel Sousa. The referee, Carlos Castillo. We've had a lot of quick finishes tonight. But Shorty, both of these title fights certainly have the look of the ability to go the distance as you give us the fighter breakdown. Mireles, take this fight down to the ground. You know what to, that's what you want. And Sosa, I think with the Gracie name, same thing like Sosa, for him, he is throwing haymakers. Utilize your strikes appropriately and plan them out so you don't get taken down. As you mentioned, reach, virtually identical Sosa, one inch advantage. Both came in slightly underweight. Sosa 124.5, Morales 123.2. And we're going to see, the Fighting Force has phenomenal champions. They have phenomenal fighters. And for them being live on UFC Fight Pass in collaboration with Titan FC, all the guys, Rodolfo, Domingo, Fernando, these guys have you know, picked up the mo promotion. And not just you know, in the Dominican Republic, but around the world because being showcased with different promotions, they've done an amazing job. Massive moment here. Massive night tonight for Fighting Force RD and all of their fighters. Certainly thrilled to be here. And what's interesting is there's only a, a one inch height advantage for Sosa, but he, he just has so such a smaller. lengthier frame. It's not to the extent of uh, the, the Rogan Gracie difference, but wow. Yeah, it, it could be give or take one that, inch. That tail of the tape may have been a little incorrect. Maybe five. <laughs> if, yeah, if I had to guess. Feeling, feeling out process early on here for both fighters. Yeah, he is a lot taller. Wow. It should have. It should have taller. We, we might round up to two. Give or take. Oh! Well, when you have the incomparable Mike Moran doing the tail of the tape, you always know it's going to be accurate. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Just about two minutes here into this first round, five-round title fight. This is a very patient fight. Yes. And honestly, for Franklin, that's something he needs to do because he doesn't want to run into any type of kicks or knees. Speaking of one right there. Any five round fight, would you say it obviously pays to be patient? Kind of like what we saw with Landon Quinones back at Titan FC 80. He really, uh, he was incredibly patient in the first round, 
didn't really go for anything too aggressive and then it completely just dominated early in the second round. Yeah, he waited and his, and his opponent tired out. Beautiful counter by Sosa. Sosa in the red, the flyweight champion. Morellis in the blue. The one thing I like about Sosa is he's not forcing the action. He's waiting for his shorter opponent to come on into his striking range. And then from there, he keeps that distance with his blows. Referee checking on uh, Morellis. Carlos Rowan strike by accident. Brief break in the action. And we're back for the final two minutes of round one. I say at least four inches taller. Four well, you know, physically Sosa kind of has a Israel Desanya yeah. frame oh, to him. Yeah, beautiful body kick. Ooh, shooting in for the takedown. Sosa able to shield. Now, is he going to be able to bring his opponent down from here? Use trips, body locks. This is Manella's Ooh. type of fight, and that's what he does. A beautiful inside trip to sweep it. Inward, bringing him down, getting on top. He has a half guard against the fence. Very patient there by Morellis, but you see. Sosa's trying to move, but yeah. he's not holding a great position yet. Morellis doing a good job keeping his shoulder there, trying to get head control, trying to push the chin off the center, and he's going to use this to try to pass to a mount or not even side mount. And in a fight that didn't have a lot of physicality in the opening moments, you know, a takedown like that from Morellis, would you say could essentially, you know, win him this round? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, if you're on top for practically a minute and a half, that's saying something. Given he hasn't been dominant yet, he's just holding position, but, you know, you still have 35 seconds left. He might be able to land some strikes like that. Final 30 seconds, Morellis maintaining control here against the champion. And I like how Morellis is staying calm. He's just, he, he's doing a floater's ride. Anytime Sosa tries to explode out, he just lifts up a little bit, gives him space, and then just lays right back on top of him. Successful game plan thus far as the first round comes to an end for the challenger. Now, that was a really slow round with not much action. So that takedown might have yeah. gave him that win. The first of two title fights. Coming up next, we will see the Fighting Force Featherweight Championship. Up for grabs as Ty Johnson defends against Jeffrey Roy as we check out some of the action here in round one. Like you mentioned, Shorty, in a real feeling out process between these two fighters. But we just see how well Sosa uses his legs. But this beautiful inside trip with the opposite leg by Manelis shows his experience on the ground. Once he gets to the fence, he's gonna mix it up to take you down and if he gets Sosa down again, he's going to be able to at least maybe not get the submission, but control the position. Moments away from round two, Fighting Force 10, live on UFC Fight Pass. Thank you for joining us, no matter where in the world you're watching. It has been a very exciting night of finishes, mostly in the first round, but we've now headed to the second round here of this flyweight title fight. Another takedown attempt by Morellis. A beautiful lift up, beautiful defense by Sosa. Exchange of knees. Now Sosa's the one putting the pressure on the fence. Gonna create some space, throw some elbows. Oh. Beautiful uppercut by Morales. You know, and aside from being a blue belt in BJJ, Sosa also a black belt in kickboxing and karate. So very 
wide arsenal that he presents with. I feel with legs like those, you automatically start off with like a blue belt. Yeah, nice combination there by Sosa. Right when you say that, he shows his repertoire. On the feet is his game, especially with that length. Again, this is game of death three. Ooh. Oh, beautiful uppercut. Oh. And now a couple of knees, and down goes Morales. This could be it. Sosa is oh. relentless. Beautiful job by Sosa to be able to stand back up. Yo, getting the space Ooh. he needs and utilizing his length with those hammer fists. Looking to control those ankles and be able to throw him by. And he's so long, he doesn't really even need to get that close and land those strikes. After a while, I think there's traded enough time to go, you know what, back away. Back away, start again. Very close there. What a haymaker that wildly misses there, but now landing a few more hammer fists here. Morellis attempting to stay see, calm. And you see those try to elevator sweep. Oh, and he goes oh, for a triangle. Oh, beautiful oh, shot by Fernando Morellis. He's holding that triangle. What oh, a transition. We might, try, we might see an arm right here. By Morellis. Sosa's doing the right thing, trying to create space, using his legs to kind of arch back to break the length of Franklin Morellis' triangle. But wow, what? that was extremely fast. And Morellis grabbing the head. This is what's going to be difficult. He's able to grab the head, pull it down, lift up his hip. He's going to get this choke. What a turn of events. Sosa had Morales dead to rights, oh, he's but so he was able to lock in the triangle. This is tight. And the two minutes left, can Sosa survive this? He's under the leg. This is almost like a pretzel position. He's going to be able to squeeze and hold on. He's going to force that, that head down. And man, those legs, he's so long trying to create space. But this also suffocates you because you're in that position of you're almost out. But with two minutes left. And we see an arm bar here. He's trying to pull that arm out or pull that arm down, excuse me, but the thumb is in the wrong position. Right now, Sosa's surviving, and you see him wincing. But that's how long, and he's out! Sosa's able to oh get out. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? What a second round. Both fighters came coming ever so close to victory. And that's exactly why I said, throw your strikes, all right, there's enough time, your opponent kind of survives, get up, create the space, get away. Because if not, he's gonna get you in a crazy submission like that. And yes, we saw the the seven and six resume, but you see how dangerous he is because of the experience he's got from that resume. It truly is a game of millimeters. And that was the case for Morellis when it appeared wow. that Sosa had him finished. As we are now approaching the final minute of this action packed second second round in this flyweight title fight. And Franklin Morellis just on top, throwing strikes, nothing too hard, but he wants to get that rear naked choke. That's something he's searching for. He's trying to get that left arm under the chin. You have to imagine Sosa's exhausted at this point. Oh yeah, when you get so excited, you drop your opponent, and you're doing everything to pass those ankles. Plus you had to fight oh. out an extremely tight triangle. Hey, ooh, great defense there by Sosa. Dude, Morales has some solid jiu-jitsu. Coming in with a purple belt, submissions certainly have been his game plan throughout his career. Final 10 seconds. Oh, he's gonna transition arm right here. Boy. But he loses the arm. Oh, he can try it again. He can try to finish it again. It's extended. And that is it for the second round. Wow. Wow. Saved by the bell. A lot of the fans on their feet here. Loud cheers for both fighters. Morellas representing Venezuela. And Sosa, of course, the Dominican Republic. Franklin Morellas' jiu-jitsu is legit. And we see the beautiful stand-up by Sosa, mixing it up, doing all these things. You know, throwing the knees. This is what dropped Franklin Morales, all that pressure. And then you see him trying to pass, but the smarter thing would have done after so much time, hey, your guy recouped, get away. But he recouped just enough that Franklin Morales was able to get that pressure down, go for the triangle and squeeze and go for different positions. This is tight. 
This is at the right angle. But the heart of Sosa was just nonstop, yeah. was able to fight out of submission, and his long length and his legs helped. But Franklin, no matter what, was on top, trying to get the finish of the fight, and almost finished his transition in his arm bar here. But time ran out. Can he do it again in round three? So much credit to Morellis there. Wow. Being able to find a way to, to lock in the triangle as Sosa was going in for the kill. I don't know what's more impressive. You're about to go out and you get the triangle or you're stuck in the triangle for about two minutes. I mean, who would you give that round to? Would you have to say Morellis once again? Oh, I, I think so. He ended the round on top. You know, and I, I know everyone probably at home is like, oh, you know, there's no sig significant strikes, but he transitioned to two different submissions. You know, the submission attempts, he had top control, and he landed some nice strikes while being on top. So I think when it came to the control factor, you got to give it to Morellis in that. Round three of this five-round title fight. Oh, the challenger Morellis in the blue, the champion Sosa in the red. Sosa now needs to be more active, but throw straight punches. Your opponent is trying to duck under. Throw straight punches, throw knees, throw teeth. But keep the pressure. Keep at your distance, but use your length to keep a proper pressure. If you're Morellis, you have to feel tremendously confident following the finish of round two. But I feel he has to feel extremely confident once he gets the fight down to the ground. Yeah. Oh, Sosa, a leaping knee. Oh, he tried to go for a sweep. And Sosa, just a position he does not want to be in. Tremendous work there by Morellis to keep this fight vertical. You see he's throwing the double underhooks and he's throwing them high. He's lifting up Sosa, taking him off the center. He's gonna try to go for the inside trip more than likely. Or at least that's I believe would be the the more beneficial takedown here. It's kind of a repeat of what we saw in the first round. Yeah. And I like how he's staying patient. He goes for an outside reach. Doesn't work. Nice little knee to the head just to mix it up. Oh, beautiful body lock transition to the other side. Morellis is relentless here. Oh, another outside the trip attempt. And I just like how Morellis is staying calm. He's not forcing any type of takedown. There's action, so there's no need to force anything. Yeah. The ref isn't going to break you up. Or at least you should. I could be wrong. We've reached the halfway point of this five round title fight. You're probably going to get a warning soon from the referee. Will we see a new champion here in the first of our two title fights here at Fighting Force 10? If it continues this way, Morellis may, uh, may just do it. This is a great fight. Ooh. Oh, beautiful sweep. Oh, he's got the back. Beautiful sweep. And he's trying to get under the neck with his left, or excuse me, his right hand. Difficult he's to see He's trying to get that there. second hook in, but I think, uh, I don't think he's going to fall over, but he's, he's at that point. He needs that hook in. But if he falls over, he might transition to an armbar, and he finally gets that back. Beautiful job. And if you're Morellis here, stay patient for these final 90 seconds. Yeah. Maintain control. And I like how he has the arm all the way through to the armpit. It helps solidify control. It's really going to limit Sosa's ability to. Boy, it forces him to only turn one way, and one of them is to take your back. He's trying to extend them, but it's so long to, or it's so hard to extend such a long guy like that. Yeah, final minute of round three, and this could be a very long minute for the champion. And for people who don't, don't know, if you get stuck in a body triangle like this, you see his abs kind of crunched in. Yeah. It sucks the air out of you because it prevents you from breathing as much as you want to breathe in. Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to get under the neck. Oh. 
Once again, the right arm now clenched, not all the way, but very close. Sosa. One of the things that would help, but Alex, is add some strikes in there. Throw some hard ones. If Sosa's going to worry about grabbing one hand or both, then you have one free hand to throw as many strikes as possible. He has no choice but to move. And that will help better set up those submissions. 10 seconds left, just go for it. Another very impressive round for the challenger, Franklin oh. Morales. Wow. So it's possibly three to nothing. It very well could be. What a, <laughs> what a fun night this has been. Every single fight has had an exciting finish. And this had all the makings of a fight that could go the distance, and thus far, it certainly is not disappointing. And uh, we see here Sosa using his lane, doing what he needs to do, throwing the strikes at a distance, switching levels. The only problem is he threw that, that knee, but it also allowed him to get close enough to where Franklin Morales was able to start making it a clinch battle, grappling match, and that's where he's most successful. And if you're the camp of Sosa, are you starting to feel a little bit impatient at this point? I mean, it, 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 it appears that he has not won a round yet. Yo, know, maybe there's one round that we, you know, I think it was the second one, we're like, okay, we can kind of see it. But, or excuse me, the first one where we can kind of see it. But, yeah, you're right. You need to force the action now. But, again, keep the distance and not make it a grappling match. Here Use we go, round lane. four. Use your lane, stay active. Force your opponent to come to you. One thing that can't be questioned is Franklin Morellis was more than prepared for this title opportunity. Oh, oh. oh. that one lands. He got caught, lost his footing. It'd be smart for Sosa just to let him, let him get back up. This is your strength. You do what you did back in the second round, you might get tapped out. Ooh. Right well, hand. stuck in another position. Raises there by Sosa. Sosa now being active, what he needs to do. But keep that distance. Don't muff his own punches, because Mireles will grab a hold of you. We're certainly seeing a more aggressive side of oh. Sosa here in this first minute of round four. And Mireles might be a little tired there. I mean, Sosa's teeing off right now. This is what you need to do. Keep that distance, though. Don't be in those at any, any point where Manelis can grab you. Manelis needs to attack back now. And Sosa certainly needs to take advantage of his height oh, and reach advantage. Oh, beautiful body kick. That can, oh yeah, that certainly landed another in one. another. Oh. Morellis oh, certainly, ap he appears to be slowing down here. Oh, oh the kick lands. Went to the head, cocks back, Franklin Morellis' head. Stay out of that clinching situation. Wow. Sosa is really landing some calculated shots here in this fourth round. Ellis needs to push the pace. He needs to fight back. If not, if he stays on the outside, he's going to get torn apart. Ooh. Another one. Oh, and you see the wind oh. on his face. Now Sosa leaps in with the knee. We're starting to see the pain etched on the face of Morales. And now a barrage of knees here, Shorty. Beautiful Muay Thai clinch. He's using his length well so far. But I think once Morales starts to get a grip back, break away and fight at distance again. Exactly what I'm talking about. This is not what he wants. But beautiful job to get out of that position. Now Morellis has opened up yeah, across I was the say, right you cheek. You see black and blue now. Under the left eye. Does Morellis have enough in him to get this fight back down to the ground? That's the question. And keep it there if that's the case. Oh, oh and another wow. kick. He needs to start circling the opposite way from that back kick. Oh, another oh. one. And you hear it. You see more of the wind. Oh. The kicks have taken their toll, and now Mar now Sosa is going in for the oh. kill. More knees up against the cage. 
Out of oh, desperation, what a takedown take by down. Morales. And that's what I'm talking about, is fight that distance. Don't just grab and hold, because you grab and hold, Franklin will, able, will be able to grab and hold right back. And he knows he's losing this round, but you see the power surge that he has. He's now getting super aggressive, and Sosa's not really doing much besides covering up. What heart shown by Morellis there. Wow. Just a, a strong burst of energy how to much, get Sosa down. How much gas does Sosa have left? Because he's practically not moving. Well, Morellis has certainly opened up at this point. And, uh, Sosa maybe as well, difficult to tell. Oh, this crowd's going wild. <laughs> Justifiably so, final minute of round four. Fighting Force Flyweight Championship on the line. Sosa the champion on his back. The challenger Morellis in the mount position here. Like I understood what he was trying to do with the Muay Thai clinch because he was landing knees. Now the problem is you stay in that clinch so long it gives your opponent time to adapt and think about what he wanted to do next and he did and he was able to get the takedown because of it. That's almost what happened earlier in the fight. Oh, we're going, oh, we're going for a buggy choke. Oh, are you kidding we're me? We're going for a buggy choke and Sosa get this. Oh, he's using his leg to his advantage. 10 seconds left in the fourth round. Ken Morellis hey, we see the thumb up, we see the thumb up. What I like to do from this, and fighters don't steal this away from me, is Bob fluke your opponent anytime he buggy chokes you. You'll be able to get out of the position, no problem. Wow, wow. Such a back and forth round, and who expected Sosa to try a buggy choke? He has the length to do it, but wow. Perhaps saved by the end of the round. And there is a gash on the right cheek of Franklin Morellis that they have a lot of work in front of them over this next minute. This and my scorebook is three to one. So even if Sosa wins this next round, he needs to dominate to yeah. either make it a 10 8 round or he get needs the to finish. finish. He, needs, a, he needs to finish yep. to guarantee victory here. And the question is when did Morellis get opened up there? Could have been a kick. My but there's goodness. a lot of swelling on the right cheek, a lot of bleeding as well. Oh, and you just see how far his head goes back. And see, this is where he just waited too long. Gave the opportunity for Medellis to take him down in a beautiful blast double to go straight in the side mount and stay dominant, throwing elbows from there, staying on top, taking his back, and throwing his own ground pound, trying to force a submission. What a fight. This is what the cage is all about. I mean, what a fight. Just nonstop grit from both Morellis and Sosa. I can't believe he went for a buggy choke. That is awesome. You know, there's no doubt this is the biggest stage either one of these fighters have ever been on. Ready. Ready. Look at the Pink fight. Rangers fighting on the outside, kind of shadow boxing. Yeah. Trying to support his teammate. Final round. Fighting Force Flyweight Championship. This is the best of two worlds. A striker versus a high-level jiu-jitsu practitioner. Franklin goes for the shot. Morellis a purple belt, Sosa a blue belt in BJJ. This is the deciding factor. Can Sosa stay awake and get out of this clinch? And Franklin is relentless right now. Morellis is just going for those shots. That's what he needs. Keep the fight at this distance. You're right, the, the conditioning of, of Morellis has really been so impressive throughout this fight. It's, a, it's mainly impressive because the third round, it looked like he was about to be finished. And then the energy surge that he had once he got on top. I mean, he, he has to be tired, there's no way he's not. Both these guys, so mentally, they're pushing to get this final round. Yeah. The knees were so effective for Sosa in round four. Oh, oh boy, once again. And that last knee, I think, really hurt Manelis. That's why he's circling. Usually he stands right in front. This is the first time I've seen him circle. You talk about getting the wind knocked out of you. Oh. Those knees will certainly do that. Ooh. 
What a fight. This is where Sosa's gonna be at his best. It's beautiful body kicks. I would just keep ripping them, ripping them, ripping them. Those kicks were landing in Another round four one. once again, and you're starting to see Morales is struggling to breathe every single time one of those kicks lands. He tries to throw one of his own, partially lands. And you hear people in the back, body kick, body kick. Oh, beautiful counter up, beautiful counter hook. Both these guys are trading, counter for counter. We got the Sosa crowd. Listen to the chant here. Just about halfway through the final round of Sosa. Ooh, looked like he was about to charge there. So far, Sosa winning this round. And his team edging him to walk forward. Body, body kick from the kick. other side. Oh, got too close. Beautiful body lock so far by Franklin. Morellis went for the takedown. Sosa able to maintain vertical position. But if you're Sosa shorty, you, you don't want to stand pat. Yeah. Final two minutes. Will we see a new Fighting Force Flyweight Champion tonight? Franklin Morales has certainly made a strong case for a victory via decision if it does go the distance. Oh. Can Morales get that takedown? This is what he needs to do to 100% solidify this win. Not just get on top, but stay dominant as he has been. We've had multiple moments during this fight where we were an eyelash away from a finish, but credit to both Morellis and Sosa for surviving. Yeah, by both guys, just relentless. This is honestly a true championship fight. Absolutely is. We still have one more to go in the featherweight division, but right now, we're one minute away from a huge decision here by the judges. We are looking seconds. at two exhausted fighters who have put every ounce of heart into this title fight. This is a tough fight. This is a very tough fight. Also a very difficult round to score. To judge if we go the distance, and it certainly appears we're about to. Right now, if Franklin doesn't get this takedown, I would 100% give it to Sosa. Sosa's landing more strikes. Yeah, Franklin or Medellis has kept him against the, the fence, but there's been no action. Oh, oh. final oh, flurry right here kick. by Sosa. Perhaps, oh, just ooh. missed that push kick. Perhaps solidifying round five, but the question is, was it enough? Game of death, three, done. And so far, the tall guys are winning, and I'm upset. Well, I think it's hard to argue. Sosa certainly had the flashier of the offensive arsenal, but Morellis very consistent throughout. Wow. I'm excited to see how the judges scored this. Do we have a reigning defending champion? Or because of the jiu-jitsu, do we have Ed New? It truly could go either way. Wow. Morellis in control for the majority of the first few rounds. But we had two rounds were very, very close. Sosa dominated round four. And like you had just mentioned, Sosa appeared to win round five. And we look at the replays, it's just counters for counters by both, but Sosa always landing last, and I believe landing the cleanest and strongest. And the clinch by Frank and Mer uh, Mereles was great, but in this last round, he did nothing with it. But again, yep. he has survived so much throughout this entire fight, I think he was just trying to survive in general. Amazing endurance, though, by both fighters. 
As it appears the decision is in, let's go to Achilles Ramirez. And the winner, after five rounds, by way unanimous decision, the fighting force of lightweight the championship of the world tonight is Miguel Angel Sousa. Wow. This fight could have gone either way, but via unanimous decision, very intriguing. But nonetheless, Miguel Sosa moving to six and one as a professional and is still the fighting force flyweight champion. And I'm here with your winner and still champion of the fighting force, Miguel Angel Sosa. Those first two rounds were extremely difficult when you got on the ground. What were you thinking to stay alive and survive out of that triangle? Los dos primeros rounds fueron bastante difícil en el piso. ¿Qué estabas pensando? That was part of the strategy. So we know that he has a good, good skill in the, in the floor. So we have to try to keep it, to keep it, to keep it, and make it rest, take rest, and keep all the round. We know that the three and four, five rounds is going to be worse. So we fight for that strategy. I see the, the, the entire Sosa team always being dominant, showing their power. Your strength was your stand-up. You use your length. You use those knees. What do you think in your head to your opponent? What do I have to do to finish him? So I tried it. I tried to finish in the, in the third round, uh, but he, he to, to, to absorb those ties, those, those hits. So we tried to keep it, to keep it. I know that we will have a really a, a hard work for, for have the the weight, so we have tire, so tired in the first five and tries and two rounds. So we had to try to, to 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 keep it, to keep it, to keep it for getting rest. Well, you are honestly a true champion. Congratulations. Okay, and I hear someone wants to challenge you. And which one is this guy? Luis Rodriguez wants to be the next contender for the fighting force. But until then, is this something that you want to do? Are you afraid? Are you ready to defend the belt? I'm ready to defend the belt, but he has to win a fight first. So we have to fight against Mireles, maybe if he wants, and if he, uh, the, the winner is going to be a rematch. Well, we'll see what happens next. Can't wait. Y tu campeón, Miguel Angel Sosa. This fight for a student I have. I uh, she had her birthday, so I have to say happy birthday, Leah Tolentino. And my brother is here in the in the in the, in the court. His birthday was yesterday. Brother, that was for you. Miguel Angel Sosa. Tremendous battle between two warriors tonight as the champion retains. Before we move to our next title.